Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am the Tech Gooch with another video review. Another set of accessories for the GoPro Hero cameras, um, specifically anything that actually uses the Quick Clip that actually GoPro does. And uh, this one is another one that's actually brought to you by Nordic Flash. They actually sent me some more of these little guys to try out and let you know what I think. These are their adhesive mounts. Um, basically, they, in this nice little, again, just like if you watch my head strap video on it, uh, zippered bag so you can keep all of your items in the bag when you're not using them. Zip it back shut so you don't lose them. But a really nice easy way to find everything because these are easily put in into your uh, if you have a like your action camera bag you can actually slip these all back in, down in there and have them whenever you need them without worrying about them. That's the one thing that I always tend to do is with the actual GoPro ones which they come ready to go. I've lost several of these before before I even used them because I put them in the bag in, but pull things in and out, in and out, in and out, and obviously um, they have a tendency to find their way somewhere else. Um, they're you know usually when you mount these you leave them mounted and you don't really mess around with it from there. So obviously you can keep this at home, but if you ever run into a situation like I needed one actually on uh, I was doing a, a shot for my my daughter's gymnastics, I wanted to get something with my GoPro, and I actually used one of these adhesive ones because it was in my bag ready to go. So. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So these are the adhesive mounts from Nordic Flash. Uh, like I said before, nice zippered pouch, really easy. And I have the actual one from GoPro here to show you the differences because there are some unique, some differences to it. And I apologize if my camera goes in and out because I keep moving. So let me pull out. Um, so these are the the adhesive strips. That is, they have curved ones and they have the flat ones. So obviously with any of these, I mean, they're all the same basically. So all these are, you know, essentially the exact same ones. So I guess I don't need to pull out all of them, but I, I have, uh, I should say there, there's two different adhesives there. So let's pull those out as well. Flat adhesive versus the curved adhesive. Um, this is obviously the GoPro camera. This is the one that comes from GoPro. It already has its adhesive backing on here. So all you need to do is get your little thumb on there, peel off the red. And of course, it's always sticky. It's crazy. So you peel off the, the red and you stick it where you need to put it. And once she sticks, she's not coming off. And that's just kind of how they work. Basically, the nice thing is, is that uh, Nordic Flash actually used the exact same adhesive. So this is just their adhesive pads. Um, that they give you and uh, so and I apologize if my arm was causing it to get a little blurry but this is their adhesive pads which are the exact same adhesive pads that, that GoPro uses so um, differences in the actual I guess uh, adhesive mount itself um, so these two are both curved mounts so I'll get these out of the way a little bit these two are both curved mounts and the difference, obviously, other than the fact that this one has the adhesive on it and this one doesn't, is the fact that uh, there is, and let me get a little closer here. You can see here, this is the actual Nordic Flash one. You can see that there is, you know, they when they manufactured it, they left that little section out. That's on both sides. So there's some, obviously, they tend to be lighter weight because of that, whereas in the GoPro one, it's not. It's a solid base. So I hope you can see that. That is really the only difference because other than that, they both work almost exactly the same. So this is the GoPro one. This is the actual GoPro quick clip um, moving in it. And then maybe I can get a little closer and you can, you can see a little rocking. So I have the, the camera itself nice and tight so it's not moving. But that's how much motion there is in the actual GoPro mount. Now this is one of those things that I noticed with the Nordic flash mount. If I slide it in, let me come back up. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna turn the camera before it does anything. So they actually are, are a tighter fit. Oh, look at that, I even turned it on by pushing on it so hard. They're a tighter fit than the actual stock GoPro quick lit, or, uh, adhesive mount, which to me, is the selling point. I mean, if you're gonna create a product that, you know, you mount your camera, you slide it in, and you go, every little jolt and thing, you're gonna hear that little bit of rocking back and forth because of this quick clip mount. 
Um, whereas this one here, the, this of these mounted from Nordic Glass is tighter. The camera is just going to move, but you're not going to hear this rattling. So that alone, that's the it, sales done. You know, so the, this little guy from GoPro, which obviously you get a couple of these with your GoPro Pro camera, and if you're only going to use one, great. But if you need more than one, the Nordic Flash ones are the ones to go with. So, um, you know, the same thing goes with. Uh, let's, let's see if I can do this without it being actually mounted on anything. Oh, geez, I'm going in backwards. Exact same thing with the the flat surface mount. I mean, it's not a it's not one of those things that there's there's differences between their products. They obviously manufactured theirs the same. They obviously gave a little more tolerance on theirs, and it uh, in the end the third party from uh, adhesive mount from Nordic Flash I think is is the clear winner. And obviously the adhesive pads are the exact same as you get from um, GoPro themselves. So. You're not getting a less sticky product. You're getting the exact same stickiness, just in the fact that um, you get to choose when, uh, how you want to put the adhesive on here. Because you you could even cut this to fit a specific uh, situation. Where I've actually had uh, mounted on a helmet where it actually didn't, you know, it only hit in the center section and the outer section didn't touch anything. So you could actually cut the pad to the size and shape that you needed to get the best mount on here uh, and then maybe even double up because you could actually put the full pad and then put a slight raised pad on each side of obviously you'd be using part of another one but you could do that because you have all the accessories at your uh at your whim i guess at your, in your in your little bag that they give you so so that is nordic flashes adhesive mounts um where i didn't see a huge decisive victory in the head strap I did prefer some things about the head strap. Their actual little adhesive mounts, clear winner to me. Um, you know, they're obviously usable in specific situations, but this one is pretty nice. So, uh, again, I like the bag. Again, um, simple thing. You know, you could obviously zip, grab a Ziploc bag, but uh, these are obviously obvious what they are so that because they're nice and written and everything. But at the same time, thicker plastic, nice hard plastic. But obviously you're buying it for the clip, and the clip clips with less tolerance, you know, it clips stronger, I guess, it clips with less wiggle, or almost no wiggle, to be honest. So, that is Nordic Flash's adhesive mounts for the GoPro cameras. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below, let everybody know what you think. Um, if you want to join us for more comments and everything else over at our Facebook page, uh, if you... Go to my channel, it's posted out there, but you can go to facebook.com slash techgooch, check us out over there. We do do we uh, blah, blah, we do product giveaways from time to time, and that's where you're going to find that. Make sure you like us over there, and that way you can actually be included in the product giveaway if you want to actually put your name and we'll contact you if you win. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. Any questions or comments, again, post below or just contact me directly, everything through YouTube or through Facebook. And with that said, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next video.